Hey guys, in this Land Studio tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a random selector like this. So when you tap on the screen, it starts to shuffle and after a few seconds, it stops on one option. I have created a script for you, which makes it very simple to create this filter and you can download and use this script for free. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create this random selector here in Land Studio. Before we start creating the lands, please make sure that you have all the assets we need to create this random selector. We need a script, which I have already created for you, which you can just drag and drop into this project. And you also need all the graphics for the effect. So you need a start card and all the pictures you want to rotate in the random selector. But I have also included some graphics um, in the download so you can also use this to follow along this tutorial so please go to the description of this video and download those assets after you click on the link you will end up here on this dropbox page and here just click on download after you have downloaded and created all your assets we can import them to the land studio for this, just drag and drop the random selector.gs file from the download into the assets browser. Then you can find it under assets here in the assets browser. Now do the same with your graphics. I have here 10 graphics and the start graphics. So I just also select it and then drag and drop it into the assets panel. After the import is done, we can start setting up our scene for this project. For this, we go to the left hand side to our scene hierarchy panel. The first thing is that we have to create a head binding. So the random selector follows our head. So we search for head binding. And then we also have to create an image inside the head binding. So again, go to the plus and here search for image this with the blue icon. After this is done, you can already see in your preview that the image is following your face, but we want this image on our forehead. For this, we select the head binding, go to the right hand side and here we set the attachment point to the forehead. And now this is anchored to our forehead. It is a little bit too big at the moment, so we select the image and then here go to scale in our inspector panel, select the chain and then set this for example to 10, maybe a little bit bigger, 15, yeah, this looks good. And now we have to move it up a little, so we set Y to 5, yes, this looks very good. Um, if the image is not following along your head, please make sure that this image is inside of this head binding so you can open and close this. So when we have done this, we can finally set up our script. For this, we go to our assets browser and then search for our random selector script, which we have imported. Now just drag and drop this into the scene hierarchy panel and then you can find this here um, in your scene hierarchy. Then select it and on the right hand side in the inspector panel we have here the random selector and here we have to set some objects. For the target image we select our image we have created. So we go to the head binding and select the image. After we have done this we can already see the start in our preview. And now we have to set the shuffle textures. Those are all the pictures you want to have in your selector. So you can just select all of them here and then hit OK. And then you have all of them here in the random selector. And then we can set up the interval and the duration of the filter. The duration is how long it will shuffle and the interval is how fast it will shuffle. So I will set the interval down to let's say 0.04 and now when we tap on the screen here in our preview we can see that our random selector is running and after three seconds it lands on one option. So when you want to have this faster set the interval to let's say 0.01 
and you can see the shuffling is much faster and yeah for the duration you can set this up to 10 and now it is shuffling for 10 seconds until it stops at one option so yeah this is all the magic about a random selector here in land studio um, with the script i have created it is very simple to create a filter like this i hope you are able now to create your own random selector with this script and this tutorial just play around here with the values and then until you find yeah the perfect setting for your random selector. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new on this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.